Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday morning. Welcome to Daily Faith Builder. Hope you're well this morning. All week long, we're looking at this issue of what does a, a hopeful community look like in these times of chaos and calamity even. Um, it's especially important that the church, the body of Christ, uh, comes together and, and sees itself as a hopeful community so the light of the church right can glow and, and uh, be a welcoming place to those who are looking for hope, looking for something solid, looking for the truth and hope in the midst of this, in some ways, hopeless right community or society right that we're in. We've been looking at 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 7 through 11 this week and we're just going kind of verse or, or yeah verse by verse through this section. Um and it begins Peter says to the church he says the end of all things is at hand therefore be self-controlled sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. And uh this is partly in this this section here in 1 Peter um uh, talking about, and Peter's encouraging the church, look, these are important things that um, the church needs to lay hold of, especially under persecution, especially in tough times, so that it can be a, hope, a hopeful community. And so let's drive in this morning a little bit on this issue of what does it look like to be sober-minded and um, and self-controlled, and why is that so important? Well, first, let me just say this, is that uh, it, this is definitely a move of the Spirit. Obviously, self-control is the ninth, the last of the fruit of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5. And uh, this, I think sometimes we have this idea that, um, boy, we just need to move a flash of the Spirit, and we are going to, you know, have our character transformed. What's really important to understand is spiritual formation, meaning being formed into Christ's likeness, having our character change and grow maturity, is not something that happens with a, a flash a spiritual experience or something like that. Those high moments, those special encounters with God and the Holy Spirit are important in our life, but those might just catapult us just to a new level. But spiritual formation comes in, in, a, in a long obedience, continuing in the same uh, direction of following Christ. And the key spiritual formation question uh, that we need to ask when it comes to being sober-minded and self-controlled is this issue of, uh, and it was Dallas Willard that I first heard this from, but I think it's profound. He asked the question that we should be asking ourselves internally is, what do I intend to do? In other words, Jesus calls us to follow him. And so the big question is, what do I intend to do? Do I intend to follow Jesus today? And when it comes to his word, do I intend to follow him? Or is there something in my mind where I don't really intend to follow him on a certain issue. Um, and if that's the case, is that blocks us. It says, for the sake of your prayers, the scriptures say clearly that if there is held on to unrighteousness um, willingly, right, that the ear of God is turned off right to our prayers. We're out of fellowship with him. And um, Willard goes on just to say, you know, no one falls into a fair and having an affair just overnight. They intended, they were thinking about it. So I think the, the biblical premise is what I think about is really going to be kind of how I behave. And so just in light of this idea of being sober minded and, uh, and self controlled is to really raise this question. Do I really intend to follow Jesus? Do I really intend to follow his word, learn to be obedient to that word? And just applying that into a very specific situation in our daily life. Um, do I intend to be self-controlled in this situation? Is that my heart? Well, there's a lot of us we've gone through, I think we all can share different times where, boy, we were going to church or we were doing the right things, but at the same time, we were holding on to a sin. We were not intending to obey Jesus in a certain area of our life. And uh, boy, that just shuts down our spiritual growth. So I'd leave that with you this morning, hopefully as an encouragement to really go deep. Remember, Paul said to the Galatians, I'm again in labor with you until Christ is formed in you. Spiritual formation, uh, it, it takes time in, in obedience and in also submitting ourselves to discipleship and to some of those hard questions and really wrestling with my motive. What do I really intend to do? Do I intend to follow Jesus and his word? And uh, that's having an authentic heart um, for God and really following him. And uh, But we all know those times where inside us, boy, we've really already made up our mind on certain things in disobedience, right, before we uh, step forward. And so, boy, it's critical that we ask the Holy Spirit to reveal those things and we get those right before God. Hope that encourages you this morning. God bless.